Good day class, this is Sir Emilio T. Tare Jr. and welcome to our Mathematics class. Today's learning objective is Theorems on Tangent Seconds on Circles. So, let's start. Day 21 theorem, or for day 21, today's theorem is to um, If two seconds intersect outside a circle, then the measure of an angle formed by two lines is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So, we have here a circle and two seconds. And as we can see, um, they formed an angle here. So, to measure or para mahanap natin yung sukat ng angle na nabuo natin here, gamit yung dalawang second na tumama sa circle, we need the difference or we need to get the half of the positive difference of the measure of intercepted arcs. So, ang intercepted arc niya is tong arc PS tsaka arc QR. So, dalawa yung arc na intercepted ng ating um, seconds na to. Then, pagsasamahin natin and ikukunin natin yung kalahate or ganito po. So, para mahanap natin yung angle P, ito yung point P, ito yung point E, ito yung point S. So, para mahanap yung angle PES, we have to multiply to one half the difference of arc PS. So, this arc and arc yung sukat nito. Then, for example, find PES or measure angle PES if measure of PES is equal to 75 when measure of RQR or measure RQR is 31. So, as we can see, hindi tayo gumagamit ng degrees kasi meron tayong M dito. Kapag merong M ang ating um, name ng angles and arcs, hindi na tayo gumagamit ng degree. And kung may degree naman, hindi na tayo magsusulat ng M. So, ganito ang itsura ng ating arc or ng ating illustration. So, one half ng M or ng measure ng difference. Oopsie. So, ano bang sukat ng at equal sa one half times 75 yung RPS natin then yung RQR naman natin is 31 so 31 minus 75 is equal to 1 half times what? 75 minus 31 is very good 44 so 1 half ng 44 is equal to very good 22 so ang Sukat ng measure angle PES is 22. Next. Day 22 theorem, we have here, if a tangent and a second intersect outside a circle, then the measure of an angle formed by two lines is one half the positive difference of the measure of intercepted arc. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's illustrate. So, ito yung second natin. At ito naman yung tangent natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang dalawang arc na na-intercept. Itong arc AD, tapos yung arc BD. So, halos same lang, or same lang din dun sa una nating theorem. Pag kukunin natin yung difference, yung positive difference ng dalawang intercepted arc, then multiply sa 1 half. Okay. So, Let's have another example. Find measure angle ACB if measure arc AB is 127 and measure arc BD is 52. So, ito ang ating, ito daw yung AB at ito naman yung BD. Ang hinahanap natin is arc AC, or sorry, angle ACB. So, para mahanap yan, Ang given natin is ang measure ng arc AB is 127. Ang 
measure arc BD is 52. Kunin natin yung difference which will be equal to what? 127 minus 52 is Okay, very good. 85. Tama ba? Or 75, sorry. So, 75 times 1 half or kalahati ng 1 half will be equal to very good 37.5 So, yan ang ating measure angle ACD Itong angle na to ang sukat niya ay 37.5 degrees Next So, paano naman kapag dalawang tangent so, if two tangents intersect outside the circle, then the measure of an angle formed by the two lines is one half the positive difference of the measure of intercepted arc. So, same lang din. Kakalahatiin lang natin yung difference ng dalawang intercepted arc. Pero dito, kung mapapansin natin ng difference neto, ang buong circle na yung um, sakop na yung buong circle kasi yung dalawang arc yung kasama. So, yung unang part is itong arc na to, arc FGD. Then, yung second naman is yung arc FD. Hindi natin sila pwede pangalanan na parang arc FD. So, yung mas malaking arc or yung major arc natin, pangalan natin, pangalanan natin FGD or arc FGD. Then, yung mas maliit ay is arc FD. So, para mahanap, kalatiin natin yung difference ng dalawang yan. So, for example, find measure angle DEF if measure arc DGF is 240. So, ano yung 240? Itong arc na ito ay 240 degrees. Ayan. So, isang arc lang yung given. E eh, anong Paano to? Anong sukat na ito? So, para makuha to, ano bang sukat ng um, ating buong circle in terms of degrees? Diba 360 degrees? So, ima-minus lang natin yan. 360 minus 240, that will be equal to 120 degrees. So, yun ang sukat ng ating measure arc FD is equal to 120 degrees or 120. Ngayon, pwede na natin hanapin yung ang angle DEF. DEF. So, 1 half times sukat so neto is 240 minus sukat so po neto is 120 which will be equal to 120 or 120 times 1 half. And ang kalahati ng 120 is what? Very good. 60. So, the measure angle DEF is 60, 60. Okay. So, itong theorem 24 natin, may pinagkaiba siya dun sa ating mga unang tatlo na theorem. So, if two chords or seconds containing them intersect in the interior of the circle, katulad na ito, meron tayong dalawang sikat na nag-intersect or nagtamaan sa loob ng circle. Interior means loob. Ayan. And then, the measure of an angle form is half the sum. Ito na. Sum. Ito yung pinagkaiba niya of the measure of the arcs intercepted by the angle in its vertical angle. So, um, ito po yung formula natin para mahanap natin yung angle MAN. Kunin, hanapin muna natin or kunin natin yung sum ng arc MN at ng arc RP. Yung intercepted arc ng kanyang vertical angle. When we say vertical angle, ito yung nakatalikuran niya. So, ang vertical angle ng arc 
ay ng angle M A N I angle P A R. So um sila yung magkatalikod, therefore ang angle M A N is equal sa or congruent sa angle P A R. Pero hindi porket magkatalikuran sila, equal na din dapat yung intercepted arc nila. Wala naman po kasi sila sa center. Hindi sila central angle. So, kapag wala sila sa center, malamang sa malamang, hindi mag equal or usually hindi mag equal yan. So, going back to our topic, let's have an example. Find the measure angle MAN if measure angle M eh, uh, measure arc MN is equal to 76 and measure arc RP is 52. So, again, ito ang hinahanap nating arc or Ito yung hinahanap nating angle. Ang given natin, ang meron tayo na value is itong arc MN which is 76 degrees and yung ating RP naman is 52. So, using the formula, one measure angle MAN is equal to 1 half times Okay, value nito is 76 minus or plus pala plus 52 and 76 plus 52 is equal to what? 1 half times 128 and kalahati ng 128 is the final answer for this one which is a measure angle MAN is equal to 64 sorry So, measure angle MAN is 64. So, um, just to summarize our lesson, yung unang tatlo natin, yung angle na hinahanap natin is nasa labas. So, kapag nasa labas, or uh, pansinin natin na yung mga nasa labas na angle, hinahanap natin yung, para mahanap yung sukat niya, magpa-minus tayo. Pero ito namang nasa loob, um, magpa-plus. So, kapag na-encounter nitong apat, alam nyo dapat kung anong formula yung gagamitin. So, yung unang tatlo, magkakamukha lang naman dahil lahat sila ay nasa labas regardless na tangent man yan or second or both. So, ayun. Thank you for having a victorious learning activity or learning session for today. Again, this is Sir, Tare, em Sir Emilio Tita Jr. And... Have a nice day. Bye-bye.